All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, you have no idea how much fucking patience and self-restraint it took me to not play this all day and wait to stream it, because I'm so excited. We're going to Ireland, baby! Oh, wow, and the suggested power level is 358. And I'm, I'm, I'm quite far ahead of it. <laughs> There's some new skills as well. Um, I think we're going to start up going over here to Cold Rage and acquiring that. But like, we'll we'll eventually get all of them. There's one over here that is, a lot of them just ignore interruptions, which is good. It's it's really good. It helps you out real well. <clears throat> Multiple items were added to my inventory. Uh, what? It doesn't say anything's new. Wait, what's this? When did I get that? Huh. Yeah, nothing's new. How dare you lie to me, game? <laughs> but welcome home, everybody. Welcome to Ravensthorpe. It's been a while. Uh-oh, it's currently raining. Oh, I forgot that that ability doesn't work for some reason. Let's get out of the rain for a bit. meet everybody in the glorious sunlight of this amazing time. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see. didn't work but it's okay Let's go. The horn sounds for new arrival let's see where are they excuse me excuse me hi sir Things have not gone as planned. Hytham! Perhaps you can aid me in locating Hytham. What is your purpose with him? I have brought a sampling of goods from Ireland. That is, if I can bring my ships to dock. Azar! I see you've met Eivor Wolfkist. Ah, so you are Eivor. In fact, I bring you a message from Ireland. I know no one in Ireland. The letter is from Dublin's king. Sadly, I seem to have misplaced it. The king of Dublin? Why would such a one write to me? He wishes to expand trade to England. The purpose of my bringing goods here. Azar is from the east, but lives in Ireland now. But in matters of trade, Azar, your king should petition Randvi. He claims to know Eivor. He asked me to accompany you on the trip there. I know no king. And I'm certainly not about to journey to Ireland. But first, Azar, you must build a trading post. In fact, where is your trade ship? Ah, oh, yes. An unfortunate incident most concerning. Trading rivals have blocked the river and thus my goods. A blocked river hurts all Ravensthorpe. Stay, I'll put things right. As you see, Eivor is a person of action. Find me later, when the river is safely clear. Of course, my friend. I thank you, Eivor. I will find the king's letter in the meantime. You keep insisting that I know an Irish king. It is a fantasy. How do you misplace what a letter from a king? king? That sends me letters from Ireland. And Eivor is quite certain she doesn't know anybody from Ireland, so 
Maybe it's somebody we know just has no idea they're in Ireland. We'll see. Let's see. Where are we going? Uh, let's see. Travel to the naval blockade. It's at the mouth of the river Nene. Oh, it's about right here. Is there a dock nearby? Yes, there is. Or you know what? We can just sail up, up the river from that, from here. Come now. It's time hey. we make clear the waves. We're off. So I do believe it is this way. Right? No, I'm actually... Wait. No, I'm, yeah, I'm going the right way. Who'll share a tale? With everything to gain, all to lose. Sigroth and Siegfried are disobeyed all logic and fell deeply in love. But King Shadavik refused to part with his daughter. An old man, his death was coming, and he commanded that she die with him. Oh, shit. She would join him in the corpse hall before joining Sigroth in marriage. So it would pass. Shadavik died. Siegfried was next to be burned. As the flames took her, Sigrut leapt upon the pyre and followed her into the next place. Sigrut left behind a wife, children, a clan, a village, and all the riches and honor he held in. For love, what he did seems a dishonor. But love is often higher than honor. <laughs> That's true. I mean, at least it wasn't two teenagers in the Renaissance City this time. Might be a high possibility they were close in age. Strike of the June. So, we're getting close. It's storming like hell, though. Gives us good cover. Is that it up ahead? Fortress there. That's new. That wasn't there before. Feed the ravens! Might be a little rusty, it's been a minute since I've played the game. Oh shit! There we go. And also his head. Are there any, uh, any more of them? Yep, there's somebody up there. Club. There you go. 
it doing it? Yeah, it's doing it. <gasps> they was a zip like that. You bastard. Okay, can't call the ship over here. Burn it to the ground. Too bad. Head back. Where's the ship? There's the ship. Uh. Off we go, lads. Back home. <laughs> Get stuck on. We stuck? Oh shit. Oh no. Hey, hold on you. Come on. We have oars for a reason. Navigate us out of this. There we go. Head back. Sing us a song. I'm actually not sure if that I I, I don't think that monastery is new. Where's the combat music coming from? What do we get into? I love how that uh how that cat we found is still on the ship. Gotta just 
just love the North Sea shanties while you're sailing down the river. Long before the night has fallen, our howls from under shields be heard. Spears and arrows rip the air. I also don't remember this part of the river being so wide. It, I don't know. It's maybe I'm just having some cognitive dissonance. It's been a while. Let's put it here! Good rating, lads! I've got something to take care of. Let's see, where's Azar? Seems we're turning our festival area slowly into a larger expansion of the town. Hazard? Hazard. The river is clear, save for a few bodies and sticks. Your goods will get through. Your reputation comes honestly then, though I am not sure about the name Wolfkist. The scar on my neck. Ah. My Viking name would then be Azar One Eye. Thank you, Azar One Eye. My men will help construct your trade post. Then I am twice debted to you. If ever you change your mind about Ireland, I will be found in the trade post, once built. Oh, and I found your letter. Here. All right, got the Irish outpost down. Hello, hello, cousin Eivor. Wait, what? <laughs> My cousin Barith is alive, and king of Dublin. The Nornir never fail to delight. No, they do not. Okay, well, let's see. Let's talk to Azar. See about shipping off. Eivor, are you prepared to go to Ireland? Azar, you did not tell me the king was my cousin. It was most amusing this way, was it not? A little mystery. I prefer to know what is what. But it was a pleasant surprise. He's eager to see you. Shall we set sail? Absolutely, let's go. Yeah, I would like to see this land. And my cousin Barith. Oh my god, I'm just so excited! I can't wait! <laughs> Ireland, a patchwork of petty kings jostling for hills and pastures and green, green glens. My adopted isle. Well, I'm quite glad we could get you home. Azar, how is it that Barith, as nose as ice, is king of Dublin? Dublin is a Viking city, Eivor. 
but in fact, merchants and beggars come from all parts to parade in its muddy streets. Ought to think of Barith as king of a city. It perhaps sounds grander than it is. Ireland has many, many kings. They litter the countryside, and Barith's throne is not secure. Flan Shinna calls the tune. Who is he? Soon to be crowned High King of all Ireland. Flan distrusts Vikings, though he needs them. Barith will find a way. As a boy, he wasn't much of a fighter, but somehow always came out all right. I'm sure what you say is true. Certainly, he is loved by his people. I mean, that sounds real familiar. Not trusted by anybody, but needed by all. <laughs> Here we are. Save me later! Your crew can find lodging here. Come, let us find Barith. Eivor! Blood of my blood! Look at you! You have on Thrasta's cheekbones! <laughs> and you, the seven-year-old, lives in you still. It has been a long stretch since we pelted old Ganfrid with apple cores. <laughs> he never forgave us that. And Sigurd in the clan? How goes with all? There is much to tell you, Barith. But let me breathe your Irish air. Thank you for keeping my ports from being set ablaze in my absence. My ports? Yes, old man. I can rule my city even without you here. Eivor, you arrive in good time. I'm hosting a feast in honor of my son, Sifrith. He is 17 today. A 17-year-old son? And rather a difficult boy at that. Come, there's much to show on the way to my castle. A kingship, a son, and a castle. Truly, you have a fine life, Bahar. Castle? It is a wooden house. Finely crafted, to be sure, but in Shiraz, it would be home to a middling rug merchant. Lead me to your rock merchant's wooden hovel, Barith. <laughs> Just some lighthearted ribbing. Just look at her docks. We babe of a city, but the biggest port in all Ireland. You cannot appreciate Irish air without enduring the stench of our docks. It is upon the strength of this port I plan to secure my kingship. Azar told me that your throne may not be entirely steady. King Flan needs some persuading is all. Dublin's vast trade web will bring wealth to all Ireland. If Flan can be made to see that, my kingship and that of my children's children will be safe. I cannot guarantee your throne, but a vast trading web is within my power. No one else I'd trust my commerce to, old man. You let him call you that. I call him worse things. <laughs> Makes sense. Oyster old. You a horn of hell. This is where I leave you. Don't miss the banquet. I will be there show. shortly. Beautiful city. Blacksmith, so might be able to check out some new stuff over there. Barrett, my mighty Kifa. This is my cousin, Eivor. Show her the bow I had you make for her. Greetings. This is for me. The craftsmanship is beautiful. Me best work. Give her a try. Hit the targets before the sand runs out. Think you can get them all? I just want to get a feel for how the bow handles. That's sure. Watch my arrows fly. I certainly will. Go! All right, let's see. Oh, it's one of these. Shit. 
shit. It is a very nice bow. Thank you, Barret. Steps off the boat after a long sea voyage and shoots like a master. <laughs> what was it called? Norse... Norse something bow? Gold bow? I do, I do like the more heavy drawback well done, bows, cousin. though. Wait, is that a house of God? Aye, Christ's own church. Ireland is mostly Christian now, and so is Dublin. Many Norse chew the wafer. You make really? a place for them. Them? I myself have a place in Christ's house, as I do in the house of Thor. So long as a god has my back, he has my altar. Ah, so you play the Christians. I mean, I get it. I built this city up from rubble. Twenty years ago, us Vikings were beat. The Irish took revenge and sacked Dublin. The Tsar told me that it is a Viking city. Norse founded it, and I nursed it back to health. When I became king, I was king of a mud pit. Understood. I'd say get to work on building up some solid stone walls, though. There, There's the up ahead, house. my home. <laughs> my only regret is that my mother and my wife aren't here to greet you. They've gone on pilgrimage to the mountains just now. The waters there improve mother's health. I am left to discipline my wayward son. And to host a banquet. We should be already underway. Sounds good. Beautiful longhouse, no? Up, Barret, for dear. Here we are. Please go enjoy yourself. I must have a word with my son. Come meet him before the night's out. As you wish. Hussar, I was not sure if I would see you here. Why is that? I thought you'd rather take stock of your wares than placidly observe caterwauling Vikings. And you... You would rather spend time with this gossiping Ganti? I know few people here. And of them, I know you are the one who is always ready with a sweet anecdote. I do have some information you may find interesting. Oh, do Siegfried's you? Siegfried's stomach doesn't agree with cheese. Had an accident about it last week. The embarrassing, bed-changing kind. Oh my god. He shat himself. Mortifying for a lad of that age. The kind of thing that would devastate him in front of his comrades. If one needed ammunition. Thank you, Asar. Your company is always enlightening. <laughs> oh my god! He shat himself. I mean, you would what know you if, you're, if you're lactose intolerant. No, you shouldn't eat so much. Can I do a little dance? No. Hello, sir. Hi. Enjoying yourself? It's great, Crack. It's a fine thing to celebrate future King Siegfried. Is Bari the worthy king? What's Dublin like? I'm curious. How do you feel Bari has done as king? Oh, he's done a lovely job he has. Likes to throw feasts. Invites us common folk. More host than king, perhaps, but he's a fine man and the city has never been busier. Uh, what's Dublin like? More host than king. So he hosts a lot of feasts and parties? Can I ask? What is your life like in this city? Well, there's a fair amount of work, isn't there? Hauling crates, shoveling muck. I'm a tanner myself. Long days stripping hides and dousing them in cow piss. You can probably smell the stench. I can. <laughs> yeah, it's a notoriously disgusting job. Enjoy the feast, friend. You as well. Many say it stinks to high heavens. <laughs> Sigfrid, I expect my son to act like the future king, not roll in the muck. So Flan will take you on as his farting court jester. Think with your head and not your arse. Flan can assure my throne, which will one day be yours. That makes you the arse. Enough! 
Eivor, my son, Siegfried. I'm sorry, I, I must clear my head. Could you speak to the boy? Only shitbirds mock their father under his own roof. Right, because the cousin who just arrived has the authority over how I speak in my own home. In Norway, you'd be knocked to the ground by now. Come on, then. If you have any guts worth respecting. Fine, whelp. You won't land a single punch. Oh, I doubt that. <laughs> oh, you're, you're pulling that? Okay. Sit down. Good boy. I guess I owe you thanks for not beating me bloody. I am not here to quarrel with you, Sigfrith. Da speaks so highly of you. I wanted to see if you lived up to the stories. Does anyone? A visit to Norway might do a young vikinger like you some good. I'd love to go with Da. Maybe the homeland would kindle his warrior spirit. Give Dublin a fair and fearsome king. You're unhappy with how your father rules. Da has the makings of a fine king. But he chooses to play the unctuous merchant instead. I've lost track of your father. Any idea where he might be? He wanted to clear his head. That means he's visiting grandfather's grave. Da has a chat with him almost every day. Bareth can commune with the dead. <laughs> no, his conversations are all one-sided. The grave sits at the top of the hill. I'll find him. Thank you, Siegfried. Eivor! Teach me how to hit like that sometime. Okay, so, where is he? He's at the family burial ground, south of Dublin, at the top of tree, a hill near a large tree. So we just need to go south. Show me. That might be it. So Barid needs to strengthen his hand as king a little bit. I mean, it makes sense. Even in cultures that have high kings instead of just one king, it, uh, it's still useful to keep yourself from being invaded multiple times. Good boy, Hati. can ride through here? That was weird. As I thought. Aid me. Be my eyes. Let's see, do I need any more? No, I'm full on rations. So uneasy. <sighs> a king must forever be on guard. When I'm upset or uncertain, I come here to seek my father's spirit. I didn't even ask after him. Somehow I knew he'd. Some years ago, he was destined to die in battle, and he did. He sits with Odin now. My family owes yours a solemn debt. That winter, your family came to stay with us. I remember your birth, screaming like a warrior. The plague year. No one would take us in. No one but your mother and father. I owe your family my life. And what a life we had. I have fond memories of you and I slipping out to hunt. In dead of night. Stars in the sky. 
Moonlight on snow. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I got that scar. <laughs> I do feel bad about that. What about the one on your cheek? This. A caution from the gods about my vanity. Come. If we tell all our stories, we'll be here a week. Do you see something? My imagination run amok, but let us away. The hell was that? The druids Funny come how already. just the slightest noise sets a fellow on edge. By Thor's hammer, about it. I could sleep a week. Not as spry as the old days, eh? When we'd search the night in hopes of catching a will-o'-the-wisp. <laughs> Did we catch one? I have a memory of catching one. Uh, perhaps so. What the hell? Ambushed. Wolfhound Master. Oh, Give yourself up. Back, grab him. Bite his hands. Who are these men? Bastards. There we go. Irish Warhound? Oh, dead. Jesus Christ! Who were they? Hey. My ascension to the throne has not been without contest. So was The previous that. king's son, Thorstein, is resentful. You told me nothing of this. You are my guest. I am not going to burden you with petty concerns. Petty concerns? I now know why you've been anxious all evening. I... tis worrying. He's never been so bold before. He sees you as a usurper to his throne. Perhaps, but... He doesn't seem to want to take it. He contents himself by stealing and smuggling with his band of ruffians. It's petty Viking raiding, but it puts me in a bad light with Flan. That's certain. Well, you need to take care of it. Kill him. Especially Keep if he's sending watch. assassins. Brigands rove the streets tonight. You can be sure of me, my king. Close the gates. Send out patrols. Have them executed. No, I am always the last to leave a party. What is wrong? We were ambushed by Thorstein's men. Rivals I was not made aware of. Small wonder King Flan does not embrace you, Bodith. You cannot keep control of the Vikings in your own city. Thorstein makes me look like more of an arse than I do on my own. I see. It is the High King's disfavor that makes this shameful. My cousin, I will take care of Thorstein. No, I do not want to drag you into this sorry mess. Perhaps you'll accept Silver to lie low. For a week or two. But then he'll be back and back again. I can remove this blot once and for all. Eivor, this is not your fight. For any and all of your gods' sakes, Barith, let Eivor help you. As of this moment, Barith, my arm is yours. Whatever is needed to bring Flan's smile upon you, I will do. Eivor... I have never been so happy. Your family saved mine those years ago. A fitting reply would be to secure your throne. I will start with Thorstein. It happens that Siegfried may know something. He once ran with Thorstein's gang. Sadly true. Seek him tomorrow in the marketplace. After a night of carousing, he likes to recuperate there. We will begin to forge a bond with High King Flan on Rise of Sun. Quite an eventful night in Dublin already. I'm glad he's at least letting us take care of this.
because it's honestly quite insane that first night you have a new visitor, somebody sends assassins over after you. Not very good ones, but assassins nonetheless. Cool, I've been given a get a guest house. Oh, wait a minute, what? What's this? Uh, for, oh, some of my tattoos for my starter. I do like those. I don't know, I'll consider it. They just give us a tattoo parlor in our own guest house. That's that's awesome. Oh yeah, the flower crowns. Wait, on on the arms. Barrett said Sigfrith would be at the marketplace. I need to learn more about Thorsty. Alright, well, let's see what we can figure out. Uh first though. Definitely gonna start going up here. Acquired for what? Don't tell me it's a new steed. Siegfried! I'll never learn. Nope. Morning, Siegfried. Eivor, it was a rough night. I drank too much and I am desperate to calm my belly. I cannot help your belly. But could you tell me what you know of this man, Thorstein? Ah, Ta told you I tried to join his gang, eh? Thorstein is a real vikinger. Like you, but louder. You weren't allowed to join. Too young and gangly. Amar wouldn't even show me where his hideout is. Tell me a bit about this Amar. Likes a rail the way kittens like milk. Spends her time getting tiddly on the docks, chatting up passers-by. I will speak to her. Perhaps Thorstein will regret not letting you in his gang. Listen to me. If you're smart, you won't cross Amma. She's a vicious fighter. Okay. So, let's see what we can do to find her. She often drinks at the docks. There she goes. What see you, old friend? It seems like she does more than drink at the docks, but, you know, I don't think we'll be indulging in that right now, especially if we're taking shit from her, be it information or anything else. And here is the drink. Oh, well, I guess ale house? Not much of one, but... Likely to be a mom. Mm -hmm. Hello. What are you drinking, friend? The finest ale in town. I like fine things, so you have my attention. What are you doing here, darling? Looking for a good drink and good company. <laughs> you stumbled into the right ale house. Excellent ale and better conversation. The ale leads to chatting, leads to... Well, who knows? <laughs> Let's find out. Gotta get the flirt on. Alright, come on, let's see. Skull. Speeding up. It's been a minute since I've done one of these. Don't hurl it. There we go. Okay. We can drink four under the table, for God's sake. Oh shit. Okay. Got a little... 
Ooh, toasty with the wobbling. Ha! <laughs> Drool monger. There we go. There we go. Getting back into the rhythm of it. Ah, shit. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Skull. Is that all you can do? Ooh, you are wicked. You are a compelling woman. What is it you do? You may have heard of Thorstein. I'm one of his most trusted friends. I have heard of him. Very impressive that he trusts you. He's like a brother to me. A not very bright brother. He entrusted me with a key to his secret lair. He has a lair? I would very much like to see that. Over in Dubke Landing? <laughs> Sorry. Thorstein would get all pouty. But perhaps you'd like to join me for a meal. I'd rather join you for something else. <laughs> Can't wait to find out what that is. But hold that thought. I don't feel well. I best move about a bit. She is quite the flirt. Right, we're supposed to find I need her. to get that key from her. Steal the key. Oh my god. If I'm careful, I can avoid a fight. I'm I'm about to fall over. There we go. Hopefully we sober up by the time she gets where she's going. She was still gonna vomit. Is she just swinging at the air? Amma, you're a too trusting fool. Your key is mine. Now to find Thorstein's hideout. There we go. found in Dublin Gale Landing, which we're here.
just what this place, see? okay. Those are those. Now those are warriors as well, I think. Hell's this? Might as well get the extra XP while I'm here. How Eivor talks to herself. Who, who the hell saw me? No use running! <sighs> Here's a nice hard shaft in the rear, you Argar dog! Try the offside lead! Mistake when you came for Barith, Makiva. Oh, gods! You plan to kill me? Give my head to whatever Irish master you and Barith serve. I serve no Irish master. Only Bull myself. Scat. If you had any Norse loyalty, you'd be like me, running the filthy god eaters from the island. The king of Dublin should look out for Vikings, not try to make nice with those cunts who killed our forebears. Join me. I could use someone with real balls. And the silver is good. Be silent, and I might show you mercy. I have my own place to rule. I don't need you. Hati. There you are. Good boy. To see Barred with you. Hey, at least he doesn't scream and shout like they do in Red Dead. Uh, am I going the right way? Sort of. I think it's past this? It was past the church, I know. There we go. Alright, buddy. I hope you was swift execution, but we'll just have to see. Most people don't take kindly to being, well, attempt at assassinations. Mount. Uh, come, on. come on, buddy. Barith, I have a gift for you. Common refuse <coughs> delivered to your judgment, <sighs> King Barith. Thorstein, author of the plot to waylay me and my cousin. 
Well, you know how it is, Bardish. A fellow needs some silver. A king could fetch Dublin's treasury in ransom. Although I'm not certain you'd bring in quite so much. Say so, Barith, and I will cut out his insolent tongue. On your feet, Thorstein. You bloody <sighs> my floors. <sighs> it is a weighty decision. I would have my closest friend advise me. Eivor? How shall I deal with this ruffian? All must see that you are a just, resolute king. A stately and dignified execution is called for. Well said, Eivor. I want no blood feud lasting generations, Thorstein. You are not worth the bother. Dublin confiscates your land and silver. I banish you forevermore. Be gone by sundown. Bend the knee and show your thanks. Best to you, King. I've better places to be than Dublin. Father! Why choose weakness? Give every enemy a length of rope. Soon they will carry your noose. Peace. Flanchina will soon rule all Ireland. Flanchina has the power to make or undo my kingship and that of my son. He is the center of all. But Flan distrusts me. He does not believe I'm truly Christian. By showing Christian mercy, I begin to change his mind. You are more shrewd than I took you for, cousin. Maybe Thorstein's release is worth a kingdom, but will mercy be enough? That is why I must build trade. Flan will see that the strength of Dublin's ports is the strength of Ireland. Show him the power of that trade, cousin. Obtain some rare item from afar, some spice or gem or weapon. And gift it to him at the coronation. It will represent Dublin's reach and help secure my crown. Flan will hear of your Christian mercy. Meantime, I will speak to Asara about a gift. Meet me before the coronation. We will go together. All right. I still think we should have executed him, but we'll uh, we'll see how that works out. It might actually work very well. But we'll see that when we return. So I thank you so much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, if you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all in a moment. Mm -hmm.